followed the beacon back to camp. Leif, Soma says you're the man who built her longships. That's right. Each has a sharp keel, a stout mast, and a poem etched into the hull to sing the praises of the Dringer who commands her. A longship is heavy with fate. Just a few lengths of wood between you and a watery grave. What better place to put a line of poetry, hmm? Agreed. It's good to fight beside you, Leif. Likewise, Eivor. Thanks again for plucking me and my warriors from the mire. Huh. Garland, is that right? That's right. You are Eivor, the infinite fighter, a forever warrior. It's a glorious name. Many thanks. You were in a tight spot when we found you. Indeed. The Saxons pursued me, ran me bloody through the swamps and into the lap of bandits. And the wolves came. We all have our one day, the day we die. How you greet that day is all that matters. I'm proud to say that I was ready. Well, it's good to see you breathing still. You are Vienna. And you are Eivor's sunbeam. You cut through the fog like the sun burns through ice. You're in high spirits, all things considered. The ambush, losing your home. In this moment, yes. But ah, you feel that? The moment has passed. We are free to pursue the next. What a gift! It's good to have you in this fight, Vienna. I like you, Eivor. You may help me here, or step on me. And by the look of you, I'd welcome either. The day is new, and the air is bracing. Are you ready for the fight ahead? Let's take your city back. That's what I like to hear. Meet me at the western gate of Grand Bridge. We've assembled there. Have care you do not enjoy taking orders from anyone but your Jarl back home. I fight for Sigurd, none else. While you're on this ship, Dag, you fight for me, and for Soma's loyalty. We fight for her. Let's have a song. Two teams, hidden. One on each side of the door. Move when you get this. Wake 
Sigmund! Honor thief! I know you're up there. Return Grandbridge to me, Wigmund. No more of our people need die. We may talk this out, lord to lord. <laughs> what are we to talk about? You have nothing I need. Worth by birth, heathen. I was born a noble. You were plucked from a giant's armpit. I built this town. From a mud hut to a thriving port. And we both know you'll bleed those ridges dry without my guiding hand. Leave! Go die in the muck where you belong, heathens! Wigman! Wigman! Let's try one final time! Quit Grant Bridge! And when she is mine once more, I may spare your life! Ha! I command Grant Bridge! I am master here! And I will scour you rats from this land like rot from a festering wound! Let me give you some advice, old bear! The surest way to stop a wound from festering isn't with a blade. It's with fire. <laughs> now, Danes of Grandebridgeshire, we take what is yours! Oh, Look at this. What has Wesley done to her? Don't you? We must free her first.
on. I'll weather the loss of these whelps. Forever. Come face your death! Heathen eels! Wigmund is gone! He's gone! No sign of Wigmund here. He may be hiding within the city walls. Shall we search? No. He'll be gone. Count on it. Argar coward. But we've struck a bold claim today. Walk with me. I want you to sound our battle horn to announce our victory. Let all the Shire know that Grandbridge is retaken. The sound of the horn means prosperity, long life, bounty. Why me? Why not? You were the keystone to this attack. You turned the tide. Let the wind from your lungs breathe life back into my city. My clan throws the best feasts, I think you'll find. You enjoy yourself? I did. But were you celebrating or mourning? You looked unsure. The night of the attack, I heard sounds of bloodshed coming from the Longhouse. In moments, the city was overrun with Saxons, so I called a retreat. We all have our one day, but not like that. Not that day. I've heard this before. That the Saxons appeared as if from the shadows. In all my time in Grantridge, this tunnel was my most careful project. The best kept secret in the city. Now a hundred or more Saxons know the smell of it. The only people who knew about this tunnel were me. And the three in my inner circle. You believe you were betrayed? I know I was. By whom? That is where I hesitate. Between Leif, Galen, and Birna, I cannot say. But they are the three who helped me dig this in secret. I hoped you might lend me your wits. 
You are a fresh ally. I could use your eyes and ears. I promised you I'd help secure your city. That task isn't yet done, it seems. Good. I sent Galen, Leif, and Birna to destroy what remains of Wigman's power throughout the Shire. Meet with them. Raid with them. Get to know them as best as you can. Find out which of them betrayed me. A betrayal so wicked, I cannot imagine. Yet someone willing to break an oath like that must bear some sign or defect. I need clear, sound judgment. I need you, Eivor. You have me. Thank you. Feel free to take a look around as you wish. Search the city, the tunnel, and here, a gift, for retaking Grand Bridge with us. One of the few things I have left from my blood family. Trail of yellow paint drops. What do you see? God, why did you send so much vermin? Someone hauled this bucket of yellow paint all the way down to the riverbank. They quickly painted a longship beach here. Then they sailed off, with allies to help crew the vessel.
What if Soma is just cursed with bad luck? Soma has only ever pleased the god. Eivor, I am honored you have joined us. What's your plan here? All the Shire support Soma's ruling the city. These hamlets do not. They're feeding and outfitting Wickman's army. So we will burn their homes, quick and devastating, like the thunderclaps of Thor. How did you come to be in Soma's clan? A vision from Evolva set me on this path. It pricked my mind like a splinter, then faded. But I wanted more. For months, years, I ate only henbane, mushrooms, sacred plants, hoping to see something new. But my body dwindled. I lived addled, maddened, a wanderer, taken in by Saxons and spat out again and again until Soma found me. Naked and alone in the fence. She clothed and cared for me. Humbled as I was. I owe her my life. Visions can be strange and powerful. What did you see? I was climbing a mountain. A lion and a snake upon my back, weighing me down. I struggled. And Soma appeared, and she eased my burden. When we reached the peak, there was hardly enough room to stand. On a point like the tip of a blade, we teetered there, gripping one another, tightly. I know I can seem distant, obsessed, but the gods are with us always. I see it as my duty to shelter Soma from their ire. What do you think of the others, Leif and Birna? Leif? He's a talented sailor, if a little enthusiastic. And Birna? Well... Birna thinks of life as a grand joke. She was a smuggler when Soma pulled her from the muck, making a living on lies. Birna is part of my clan, and I will fight beside her, irreverent as she is. But she has no care for her destiny. I'm eager to start throwing torches. Now let's rid these hamlets of Wickman's rats. Light your torches and set your arrow tips ablaze, Eivor. The red enemy of the branch will make quick work of this place. I should be seen. The hood should work. Visited upon them all. Leave no house unburnt. What they get for helping Rand Grand Bridge from Soma? For licking Elderman Whitman's boots.
my side table. Wakeman is sure to take notice. You stamped and roared like a fiery suitor himself, marching through the flames of Muspelheim. I'll see you back home, Drenga.
priest blows as much air as a hailstorm. You cannot be allowed to keep spewing. Did you sail through a storm? You never mentioned. Eivor! A fine day for being out, no? Soma said I would find you here, Leif. What's your plan? We're ridding the world of a priest who spouts praise for the Elderman and funnels tithes into Wickman's coffers. So the plan is this. We sneak in, gut the priest, and return to Soma. That will get Wickman steaming. How did you come to join Soma's army? We came to England together, sailing under Guthrum. The great summer army, the Saxons called us. When Guthrum left for Wessex, Soma stepped forward to lead. Something I would have liked to do myself. And what would you do if you were the Jarl of Grandbridge? I would run the city in my own way. I would not give Birna and Galen's opinions equal weight. Do you not trust them? I wouldn't say that. It's more. Birna's boots are stuck in the mud, and Galen's are in the sky. If death were bearing down upon us, I worry neither would have what it takes to carry us through. You were there when Guthrum made Soma the steward of Grandbridge. How did that feel? Good fortune for her. When Soma took hold, the silver started flowing and the people started dancing. She knows trade. I do wish I'd been bold enough to put myself forward, to take on the burden and honor of running a city. But that's beside the point. Soma is my Jarl's corner, and I'm her sworn man. No act of any god will change that. As a master shipbuilder, what does your work require? Patience and love. I know each of our vessels as a parent knows their child. But building ships needs silver too. The hard wood, the tough fabrics, the expensive paints, the yellow I use, for instance, that must be imported. A high price for a happy color. I'm certain that's why someone stole my paint some weeks ago. Blasted thief. Good conversation, Leif. Now let's take down Wickman's man. Too right, too right. Wickman's whelp awaits his reward. My warriors will distract the Saxon forces at the gate. You and I will find the priest.
in the Shire anymore. We should leave. Struck. We made short work of Whitman's man. That we did. You've proven yourself an asset to us. I see you back in Grand Bridge. My thanks, Raven Bearer. A good traveler. What seek you? Perhaps I can help. My prices are competitive. All right. Look here. This spot I'll mark on your map. A place I know. I'll need some time to collect more information. Maggots feasts on it. I am certain. Let them rule old Albion. gets longer, the nails grow, even when the corpse is cold. I've seen it myself. Eivor, my muscle banded friend! There's a nest of Wigman's men just here. We're going to pick it clean. Every last one. The fewer lice in the bush, the less itchy the pussycat. That's how I see it. 
How did you come to join Zoma's army? I'd been in England for ages before Guthrum, Ivar, Uppa, smuggling under the eyes of Saxons and Danes alike. I lied, stole, had my nose broken. Life wasn't easy, but it taught me how to bear the pain. I just laughed it away. When Soma took me in, she saw more than a smuggler in me. I was useful to something greater than myself. Useful to her vision. In a world where few saw you as worthy of trust, she's one who did. Right. And I love that about her. I love everything about her. You seem to bring life and spirit to this clan. Does Soma feel the same? If I knew what was going on in another person's head, I'd find life dreadful and dull. But Soma seems to enjoy my company. In what way? Her own way. Just not in the way I'd like. Painful truths are easy to bear when you can laugh, you see. Delight in the face of suffering is an act of rebellion. What do you think of Soma's other warriors? Galen and Leif? Oh, Leif's got that raw animal pull. Every time I see him, I want him to climb me like a tree and nest in my armpits. He brays about being honorable, but I've never met a man of honor who starts a fire just to be praised for putting it out. And Galen, he broods like it's an art form. He's got this self-importance that is just so charming. We could talk all day, but these Saxons may fly from their nest. You and I should take a closer look. My men will hang back and come running if things go sideways. <clears throat> Fighting beside you should bring a thrill. Happy I can see it up close. Don't get too close. I might black your eye or bruise your head. <laughs> You'd lose your elbow before the bruises show. I should not be seen in this area. the bro <laughs>
my things. You've made more noise than Ragnarok sent, and these Saxons still don't see you. Not everyone is so fox-eared as you. More stupid. You're light on your feet and quick through the grass. Sound carries over snowdrifts. I learned young. I practiced by sneaking in and out of bedroom windows every chance I had. all of them. Ah, the solitude of after slaughter. Shame about the smell, though. Men shitting themselves. You fought very well, Vienna. Is that how you flirt, Eivor? Is that how I what? Easy now, Drengir. I'll see you back in Grand Bridge.
Nothing out of me. Nothing. Insects. Eivor, the plan worked. One of Wigman's captains caught him sniffing around your Oli Ponte. Remember, you don't need to kill him. Have fun. I'll be planning our next move in the Longhouse. Little boy, little boy, where is your daddy hiding? Godless heathens. Grand Bridge is the province of Lord Wigman of Walden. The city is rightfully his. Poor soldier. Doesn't know what heathens do to men of God like him. Hasn't heard the stories, it seems. We can educate him. Look at those ham hands. Could make a nice pair of gloves. And his heart. A heart that beats in a lad like this? Feed a family of six for a week. Let's cut his throat now and water the orchards with his blood. No, sweet lord, no, no, no. He's on the Isle of Ely, Elderman Wigmund, in the monastery, I swear. Hmm, thought that would take till the next morn. Let's tie him up and let him rot away. Oh, fucking Dane Hapwitz. The lord will smite you from this land, all of you. May God have mercy on... <laughs> That home thieving snake might have cast a curse on us. I couldn't risk it. Christians don't curse. Wickman's on the Isle of Ely. I'll tell Soma what we've learned. You can swill with the best. Eivor, what did Wigman's little man have to tell us? Wigman is at the monastery on the Isle of Ely. Hiding among the church mice. I'll need to plan our attack. But I won't face him while the traitor he commands is still under my roof. So what have you learned? Birna is in love with you. Unanswered love is a volcanic emotion. Birna has always been unpredictable. But she's a warrior grown. She does not let her emotions guide her actions. Birna used to be a smuggler, hardly an honorable life. There is honor among even the lowliest of men. Danes know that better than most. Leif wishes he had stepped up to lead. And to be where you are now. Leif has a celebrated place in my clan. As a shipbuilder, he is without peer, and he knows I know this. Leif disagrees with how you run Grandbridge. This city thrives under me, as a bustling port for his longships, for instance. 
Leif told me his yellow paint had been stolen. Yellow is a troublesome color to make. He was upset when his stores were stolen. I found an empty barrel of yellow paint beside a longboat launch. Yellow paint was used to mark a boat the night of the attack. An odd time for a fresh coat of paint. But that's his work, is it not? Garland puts his visions above everything, to the point of fanaticism. Visions are like clouds. Each person sees a different meaning in the shape, and Garland sees an important meaning. Garland told me he was near death when you found him and saved his life. Yes, people thought him cursed. He was adrift in deep water. But don't we all deserve a guide back to the shallows? That's all the evidence I think we need. You've been thorough. Who is the traitor? Garland betrayed you. Are you certain? This will be the hardest thing I have ever done. Stay close by me, Eivor. I will need you. How do you plan to deal with this? As a leader must. My family, my inner circle. Today we make sure what has happened to us will never happen again. We end Wigman's life. But not all together, for you cannot survive the winter with a rat in your larder. Galen, you have betrayed me, Galen. I haven't! Soma, you're the key to my life. You must lead me to my destiny, carry me to the summit of victory! Do not warp what is real with the stories you tell yourself. I have seen no signs of your destiny. What I have seen is my people slaughtered, my city befouled, and your delusions fueling the destruction. How dare you think your destiny, your greatness, outweighed all of ours! He believed too much in fate, and not enough in us. Take him away. I feel as if I have torn off my own arm. Wigman deserves death, but killing him won't make your family whole again. You think I don't know? This is for those who follow. To join me is to take an oath. To break it is to suffer. We make camp on the outskirts of the Isle of Ely. Join us there. Carries the weight of leadership on one shoulder and the bonds of her people on the other. Now that she's lost one, she walks lopsided. It will take years of toil to rebuild those bonds with her people. Yet she is unburdened now. Lighter. She is a leader, not a friend, Devo. Her mistake was thinking she could be both. Come on, I need the challenger!
Is this a prayer, an offering, or a final vestige of your oath? <laughs> Only a charm I never finished. Hell by now. 
They will have the lost souls of the dead to answer to. Soma. Eivor, you're still with me through all this. Do not think I'll forget. We all need someone in dark times. Now let's collect Wickman's head. Good. At the first sign of trouble, my crew will jump in. Your eyes, my friend. No! Won't be gentle if they spot me. Can't do this alone. Nothing. 
No land, no riches, no titles. But my name will live on. The reputation of a good man never dies. You may soon be a curse. So be it. The riches I had in life gave me power. To curse me from beyond the grave gives me still more. Though I die, my order lives on elsewhere, everywhere. Yield to us. Give us what we are owed. The trade, the riches, the legacy, all of it. Yield, yield, yield! If your hell is real, I'm glad you'll get to see it. We should return to camp before I let go and burn this heap to the ground. Going forward, we must take care of Houses can be built anew. Crops will return with time. Trust. That will take longer to repair. But you have a new friend and ally in me. The end of the storm was well in sight. You're right. I know you. It's just... It's difficult to see that end when you're still in the storm's eye. Here a moment.
fuit almis venit fluviali, vel focibis au... over here. Eivor, you've been a guiding light. Calling out Galen like that, exposing his treachery, made me sick with a quiet terror. A betrayal like that is already a kind of death. Galen killed himself. Of course. And now I feel somewhat lifted. The weight is almost gone. Even if my heart needs mending. Ah, while I have you, Eivor, I'm reminded. I have this for you. 
keep it, knowing you have my highest respect, regard, and trust. My army is yours, should you need it. Soma Yalskona, my deepest thanks. And there's something else. As we prepared our assault, Birna had a word with me. We came to a sort of understanding. It may be best if she tells you herself. Until next time, Eivor of the Raven Clan. I hope we will see you in Grandbridge soon. Eivor! Birna, you struck quite a victory today. Don't undercut your own ferocity, Drengir. It was your blade leading the charge. You are indeed something to behold. We all thought hard. And now Grantbridge is yours. You have your home once again. Ah, soon merchants and priests and reeves will run loose in its streets. All of its muddy charms will dwindle. Besides, with no room for me in Soma's heart, my home burned away in a quiet little house fire. Her priority is Grantbridge and the people in it. That is noble, and beyond what I will ever understand. So I've decided I'm of better use elsewhere. With you. In your crew. You want to live with the Raven Clan? And sail and raid with you. If you'll have me. Look at this. Who would it? I'll be happy to have you, Drenga. A relief to these ears. I've already packed my bags. <laughs>